Hi, I'm Jacques Pépin, and I'm cooking at home. I've done show with my granddaughter. I even did a little book. You know, if I listen to her, all we would do is chocolate. <laughs> she loves chocolate. And this is one of her favorite treats and really easy to do. And I, I took the idea here from my friend Jacques Torres, the great chocolatier. So I melt chocolate here, and this is bittersweet chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate. I have it, and I have Rice crispy here, cornflake, two of my favorite things. So we put that together here on this one, this one here. I mean, you can have more cornflake or more of one, more of the other, and so forth. And we mix it together like this. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. It's about all there is to it. So now we're ready to do a little package of this. You know, that you put together like this. A treat. The kid loves that. And uh, it's so easy to do. You can, of course, do it with nuts. Sometimes I do it with hazelnut rather than that. And it's very good as well. But well, here is the cornflake. So here. Okay, I want to make a mess here, out of it. Here is my cornflake. When I first came to this country, I learned how to eat cornflake and rice crispy at my friend, Pierre Frenet, at his house, and that's over 50 years ago. And at that time, it was those little box the little box that you cut the little box and you open it, pour the milk into it and do that. I thought it was terrific. I'd never seen that in France. In fact, I cannot find those anymore. So here we are, goes into the refrigerator, half an hour, an hour, then you're ready to serve. This is it. It's hot now. As you can see, it comes out. This is non-stick aluminum foil, you know, crispy. Mmm. That's really good. My granddaughter will be happy. So I put that on the side for her. And I'm ready for a visit. Thank you for listening to me. Happy cooking and make chocolate for your grandchild. <laughs>